What's up everybody, Tiankum here with Stoyak Quilting. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how you make this boxed in quilt. Let's get started. As you see in front of me, I've already gone ahead and pre-cut down my fabrics. Really easy math or really easy cuts here. My center square is six and a half by six and a half square. My small red piece is six and a half by two and a half. My long red piece is nine and a half by two. My, I'll go over here, my short black piece here is nine and a half by two, and my long black piece is 12 and a half by two. We're gonna start sewing right now, super easy project. I'm gonna start with my smallest measurements first. So I'm gonna just lay these out on my table in order of how I'm gonna sew them together. Just like that. So I'm gonna sew these in order. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my two and a half by six and a half and I'm gonna put them on the sides here. Just like so. And I'm gonna sew a quarter inch seam down both sides. Then we'll go to onto ironing, but I'll take this right over to the sewing machine. And sew. Now that I have both my sides sewn on, I'm going to iron these seams to the dark side here. Something important in this quilt is that you want to do all of your ironing. You wanna make sure everything's ironed flat, that way your next strip lines up perfectly with your next step. So, I'm gonna take my next largest piece, which is my red here, and again, put it on both top and bottom and we'll sew all the way down. So I'm gonna take this over to the sewing machine. You really wanna make sure you're on point, that everything is lined up and everything is looking pretty square. First piece sewn on, I'm gonna sew on my next one. Okay, we got our reds on, now it's time to move on to the black here. Just following the same process, I'm gonna start with my shorter piece and I'm gonna do the sides. So side here, side here. Taking it over to the sewing machine. And now lastly, our top and bottom. And if you're a little bit off at the very end of all this, we're gonna square this all up so it looks perfect. So. So I just ironed this all out and it is looking great. So our next step is, if I can find my ruler for this, there it is. Well, you need a big ruler for this, about a 12 and a half by 12 and a half is the most ideal. And what we're wanting to do is inside, okay, so let's explain the ruler a little bit here. You have a 45 degree line that runs all the way through your ruler. This is so we can base square on our blocks. So what I'm gonna do here, since my block is going to be a 12 and a half inch finished block, I'm going to line up my 90 degree line, sorry, my 45 degree line up with both of the corners on my inside gray square. I know that square is perfectly square. So I'm gonna line it up there. From here, the other markings on my ruler I'm going to try to line up with some of the other lines. Just double checking everything. 
right there, I know I am perfectly on where I need to be. I'm gonna cut all the way around my, my ruler here because I want a 12 and a half inch finish ruler. So I'm gonna cut. So my two sides. Now I'm gonna cut my other two sides here. Um, what I'm gonna do just to make it easier on myself here is I'm gonna turn this whole mat around. That way I don't have to move it. I highly recommend using the, I highly recommend using the turntable mats for a project like this. That way you don't have to move your project around or, um, or rulers that have the non-slip on them, so you can just spin it right around. But I don't have one of those right now in front of me, so I'm gonna just spin my mat. Okay. Just like that, I've got a perfect 12 and a half by 12 and a half inch square block. So I'm gonna turn my, back, my mat back around and get it lined up for the camera. And then I'm gonna show you how you put the row together. It's very, very simple to do. Very, very simple to do to put this row together. I've got two other 12 and a half by 12 and a half pieces here. I've got the black and I got the gray and then I've got my block. What I'm gonna do is lay this down Start from my black. I want to line up my black on the left side for this particular product project. Put them right sides together and sew that quarter inch seam. So I've got my first piece sewn on. I'm going to sew my second piece on the other side and then I'm going to iron them both out. So that is one row. Obviously we can make this quilt as big or as small as we'd like, but as you can see in, in the quilt behind me, they alternate colors. So I'm gonna make a gray version of this and then a black version of this and a gray version of this and a black version of this to get that alternating color change, which I've already gone ahead and done. So I'm gonna pull this down to show you kind of what my quilt's looking like. And I'm gonna show you how to attach your row to your final project. So, what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna move this over here actually. All we gotta do is just make sure our order is staying the exact same. So, got my gray one up top, so now it's gonna be a black one on the bottom. I'm gonna put them right sides together and I'm gonna use some wonder clips if I can ever find them. I'll that. Got it. I'm gonna use some wonder clips to make sure I stay straight and that all my points end up on point. So I'm going to just double check to make sure that those are lined up properly. Clip that. Go on down to this other one. Again, clip that right there, line up my ends. And one more on this side to just double check and make sure everything is great here. Perfect, take this over to our sewing machine. And really, you just wanna make sure you're sewing straight here. Don't take it too fast. No need to get a wonky seam right at the very end.
And this is what our quilt top is looking like so far. To finish this up, as you can see in the example behind me, I'm going to just end it with two small borders all the way around. Then I'm going to take our quilt across our building to our in-house log armor to have this quilt finished. If you've liked this video, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and don't be afraid to share it with your friends. As always, we're going to leave instructions on how to make this quilt down in the description below. My name's Tiak, I'm teaching you how to sew like a pro. We'll see you here next week at Sew Yak Quilting.